They are called America's horse. The first to be born and bred in this land. Their style, temperament, versatility, and great spirit set the Morgan horse apart from all other breeds. No other horse looks like a Morgan, and why? Now take a look at this mare. Look at those ears, they're right up there, see them? Look at the curve to those ears, the alertness. That's a very good characteristic of a Morgan horse. Now let's look at the eye. Nice, big, friendly eyes, the expression. They just look out there and say, hey, I'm a Morgan horse. And then the pole, nice and clean. And look at this nice curve to the neck, another characteristic of the breed. Let's take a look at the back, nice and short, smooth, straight and it follows out to the croup, nice and level, with the tail sitting right up there so elegantly. It's just a thing of beauty. Very, very proud. Like a sculptor's dream. I feel like the Morgan horse has really deep roots in this area. Uh, we are the center of the highest concentration of Morgans. When I come to work every morning and look at the statue, uh, it reminds me of the true Morgan type and character and my conception of Justin Morgan and how he looked. This farm is one of the most historically significant Morgan horse breeding farms in the country. It is one of the oldest and has been one of the largest for 45 years. It feels like quite a responsibility, but it's something that's very uh, worthwhile and significant and if I can be a part of maintaining it it's a very good feeling. I think Morgans are great. <laughs> I really do. I think they're just a great breed. Oh I think the breed is going everywhere. It's just that every door is being opened up. I think the horse is very special because it can do so many kinds of things. You can have a western horse, you can have a hunter jumper, you can have a park horse, you can have a brood mare and babies. The power, the muscle, uh, tone of the horse. Uh, I love the uh, versatility, obviously, and the intelligence. Some of the style, the Morgan look, it's from the original Justin Morgan. That's 200 years ago, and we think it's great. You can show them, you can take them home in the winter time, you can cut their feet down, you can put them in a sleigh and have fun with them. You can love them. And another thing is it's a real confidence builder for the kids. They come and they show a beautiful animal, put in hard work, and they have success, and it pays off. The trainers in this breed are wonderful. If you have any questions whatsoever, they're more than happy to help. It's a family type thing, or it's for somebody else that they're not always in the show ring. Most of ours are sold out of the our own stable, which in the backyard, and the family helps. They're holding them or working them, or people come to see us, the kids show them the horses. And I think they're a good breed for children to start out with. They're a breed that parents can participate with when a lot of breeds aren't. We find a, a very sweet animal, and yet uh, very powerful and dynamic in the show ring. There's a tremendous amount of electricity and energy in getting a Morgan show horse that will go out there and give its all. Uh, to me, I think a key is that the horse is really affordable. I think that you can get into having a top quality show horse for a real reasonable amount of money, uh, especially compared to some other breeds. Winning the ladies park harness class the other night, it was just outstanding. I was just beside myself. I couldn't believe it. Winning that blue ribbon and then you make a victory pass down the center of the ring. And it's an accomplishment. I have to try hard to do this. And to see him as gentle as he is now come into the ring in, in full glory with the, the lights flashing and the music playing, it's one of the greatest thrills I've ever had in my life. You put me in a horse show and I don't care if it's a uh a national, a regional, or a local, I still get goosebumps. Of all the traits that have distinguished the Morgan's image, nothing matches their dynamic ability in the show ring. Under saddle, the Morgan is enthusiastic and responsive, quick to learn and eager to please. In harness, there is no breed quite like them. The high stepping gait and collected drive are the classic imagery of a well-trained horse. 
in Western tack, Morgans have a rugged yet showy steadiness that make them the rival of any breed. Even in the jumping events, the willing Morgan again shows its versatility. But wherever horses compete, are shown, worked, or simply enjoyed, you'll find a Morgan. In Newport, there are many lovely homes that were built as summer cottages for only one month of use a year. They were all built in the end of the 1800s and early 1900. Newport, Rhode Island is the ultimate coaching imitation in North America, if not the entire world. drive a four and sit behind a four is the greatest feeling in the world as far as carriage driving is concerned. So I've had many breeds in my life and I find the Morgan to be stylish yet sensible. Attractive in harness, tractable, level-headed, and they do the job, they're willing, they have a great deal of heart. There are more Morgans used to pull carriages today in the United States than any other breed of horse. And the Newport Coaching Weekend is an excellent idea of how all of this does come together. We've got beautiful carriages, lovely turnouts. It's not a competition. It's a lovely weekend of pleasure driving. Good, strong, stable, level-headed horses that are stylish, yet very supple and suitable for the job. And it all comes together in a beautiful effect. <laughs>